a beam is constructed from a hollow rectangular box beam shape. The beam is supported by a pen support at A and a ruler support at B. So the support on the left side is a pen support and on the middle part is a ruler support. It means that at the left it is restrained in the horizontal direction and vertical direction but at B it is just restrained in the vertical direction. It can easily move in the X direction. The pen at A has a diameter of 1.25 inch. The concentrated load of P equal to 3000 pound is applied to the beam at C on the very right end. Determine the shear stress in the beam at A. Okay, so this is a stress analysis problem. If you remember, we have three steps to answer to find the answer of this problem. First, is using free body diagram to determine what is the internal force in that point. Here, we want to determine the stress at pen, so we need to determine how much is the total force in that location. Second step is determining the cross-section area, A. And last is dividing force by area. All right? So let's do that step by step. I will use free body diagram concept to determine how much is the total force at this element in pen. To determine the reaction force, if you remember, we need to use free body diagram concept. It means that we need to remove the restraints and replace the restraints by reaction forces, by unknown forces. Here, we have two supports, two restraints, A and B. We will remove these supports and replace them with unknown forces. If I remove A, because that is a pen support and it's restrained in horizontal and vertical direction, I need to put two forces there. Does that make sense? This is something that we have done before in statics. So I removed A and put two unknown forces. I will call them F sub AX and F sub AY. Second step is removing supports at B. That is a ruler support. It is restrained just in the vertical direction. So I will just put one unknown force in vertical direction. I will call that F sub BY. All right? Now what should we do to determine the reaction force at A? Using equilibrium equations. How many equations do we have here? Three. Sum of the forces in X direction equal to zero. Let me use that. Um, there is just one force, and that is FAX. That is zero. So. There is no horizontal force in this system. Some of the forces in y direction. How many forces do we have in y direction? Three. F A Y and F B Y are going upward. I assume that is positive. So I will write down F A Y plus F B Y are equal to P. Okay. Here. We know how much is P, but we have two unknowns, so we can't determine these two parameters by, these, by just this equation. We need to get one extra equation, which is sum of the moments. Um, for moments, it doesn't matter around which point we are determining the moment. For this problem, because I'm looking for F A Y, it's easier for me to write down some of the moments around point B, because in that case, F A Y doesn't have any moment, because the arm is zero. So I will say some of the moments about B is equal to zero. How much is the moment caused by this force, F A Y? The moment is force times arm, perpendicular distance of force from the point of interest. How much is that distance here? Four. four. Okay, so that gives me four times F A Y. All right? Here, I assume that clockwise is positive. Now, how much is the moment caused by P? It's P times six. And that goes again <laughs> clockwise, so I consider positive sign for, for that as well. So that would be P times six. Is there any extra moment or force here? There is force FBY, but that passes through point B, so that doesn't cause any moment. So I say that's equal to zero. Now, from this equation, I can determine how much is FAY. Um, FAY would be negative 6 over 4 times P. P is 3,000 pounds, 
So that gives me FAY equal to negative 4,500 pound. Any question for this part? This relates to statics that we have learned before, but I wanted to review this concept because this is very important. We have to know how to use free weight diagram to be able to answer problems related to mechanics of materials. All right, now let us answer the second step, which is area. For area, when you are working with pen, the cross-section area is always a circle because pen usually have circular cross-section and the force should pass through that pen. So I just need to determine cross-section area of a circle with the diameter of, how much is the diameter? 1.25 inch. Okay, so area would be pi diameter of pen squared over 4. Hold a moment, please. I plug the values, and that gives me 1.227 squared inch. Yes, sir. Okay, good question. Why do we get a negative force for FAY? The reason is, I assume the force goes upward. Okay, look at the direction of P. P tries to bend the beam in the, say, clockwise direction. If AY goes upward, it helps moving the element in the clockwise direction. It is not restraining the beam. So I got negative sign, it means that I need to uh, reverse the direction of that force. Now in that case, that beam would be in the stationary situation. That would be in equilibrium, okay? All right, so we have determined force, we have determined area. And what is the last step? Divide force by area, okay? But there is one important trick here. How much is the force that passes through the pen to the side supports? Is it 4,500 pounds or is it something else? What's that? Because that pen is resting on two supports. So that 4,500 pound is actually divided into two parts. Let me show that here. So I say that it is 4,500 over two. The reason is, if you notice, the force is splitting into two parts. Half of that goes to the right side, half of that goes to the left side. And that goes downward like this, okay? And to show that why did I consider, uh, say, circular cross-section, let me take out that pen. So this is the pen that we talked about. Let me show, the, show these forces acting on that pen. So there are two 4,500 pound over two acting on two sides of this pen, and there are two reaction forces going upward. And this force passes through this cross-section area, which is a circle. That's why we consider it circle for the cross-section area. Does that make sense? All right, so the force is 2250 pound. The reaction force is 4500. The force itself that passes through the pen from each cross-section area is half of that. And I say simply stress is force over area. Plug the values, and that gives me 1834 pounds over squared inch, which is PSI. All right, so we got the answer of this problem. Any questions? <coughs> 